Hey, we. Hi, George. Boy, do I love Wednesdays. Uh, Why is that? Because Wednesday is Florence's day off, and you make my lunch. Oh. <laughs> Today's Tuesday. See you later. Oh, wait, George. <laughs> I have a little present for you. It's to celebrate a very special time in our lives. What time? Well, I'll give you a hint. It was a warm summer night. The lights were low. The moon was bright, and you were young. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> were you there? <laughs> George, today is the anniversary of our first date. Oh, well, give me my present. <laughs> huh, let me see here. A book. A book of poems, huh? <laughs> a book of dumb poems. <laughs> One snowy day in deep December, I'll see a bright spring flower just by sitting to remember how you look this hour. This is sick, that wheeze. Who wrote this junk? <laughs> you did, George. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Where'd you find this? Well, a few weeks ago, I was looking through some old things, and I ran across these poems tucked in with your love letters. Mm. And I couldn't believe how beautiful they were. Well, consider the source. <laughs> That's why I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Anyhow, I decided to have them printed up. I thought it would make a perfect gift. Yeah, but I didn't get a gift for you. Oh, you've given me enough. Oh, good. Well, let's eat. <laughs> oh, no, wait, George. I want to read something to you. Oh, we... Okay, read. <laughs> I want to take your hand in mine and make our footsteps intertwine. And it was because of this poem I let you hold my hand for the first time. And it was because of this poem on page eight that I let you kiss me for the first time. What you mean you let me? You begged me. <laughs> and it was because of this poem on page 13 that I almost let you... Never mind. <laughs> well, I did all the begging that time. <laughs> At least that was all a long time ago. I mean, it's all so personal. It's embarrassing. Oh, why should it be embarrassing about these poems? They were written during a period of love, passion, ecstasy. I uh, know, but we passed all that now. <laughs> Didn't you mean all those things? Yeah, everything that lit up to page 13. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for the book. I will always treasure it. And now I'm going to put it someplace where I won't lose it. Oh, George. <laughs> Why are you so ashamed of these poems? They reveal what a sweet, caring, vulnerable man you are. Yeah, I know, Weezy. It's okay for me and you to look at, but I don't want anybody else to see it. I hope this is the only book. Well, almost. Well, you see, in order to get it printed, I had to order a minimum of 12. <laughs> there are 11 other copies. Well, I'll kill myself. After. I change my will and leave you penniless. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure nobody else will read them. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Who'd believe there was such a great big heart in that itty bitty body? <laughs> Why, I had no idea you wrote such beautiful poetry. Penniless, Wheeze. Oh, come on, George. I didn't think it would hurt to let Florence take a peek. After all, she's almost a member of the family. Yeah, she looks like your grandmother. <laughs> oh, it won't work, Mr. Jefferson. I know now that beneath all those insults stands a man with true sensitivity. You see what you've done, Wheeze? Florence likes me. <laughs> oh, I think he's blushing. <laughs> Ain't that cute? You know, Miss Jefferson, I always wondered what made a wonderful woman like you marry a man like that. <laughs> now I know. Just one question. What in the world made you stay with him? 